Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the PTC Custom Fit Air Cabin Filter on our 2021 Chrysler Voyager. Now this can be an excellent way if you want to kind of reduce some of the allergens maybe you're having, if you have a lot of issue with maybe your cabin airflow, getting a little mildewy, it might be time to actually replace your filter. I definitely recommend checking out either six months to a year for sure. You really are going to start seeing a lot of buildup, especially if it's going to be in those heavier seasons. So this can be a great way of getting us some nice fresh air into our cabin. So let's go ahead and start seeing how we can actually access our air cabin filter. We want to start in our glove box here. Start by just removing any items you might have in there. Go ahead and bring this guy down. Now on each side, we are going to have some tabs we want to take out. You can see this little flange right here and here on this side. But first, we do have a dampener cord that actually stretches here. This basically just makes it to where that glove box is going to fall down nicely for us. I like to kind of get it in this half position here just to give us a little bit more play. Then on the inside of this as well, might be a little hard to see, we actually have where our slot is on the inside of this plastic tab. So we want to go ahead, push that dampener cord down to that open slot. So you're going to see where that tab actually goes into. It's going to be right here. This bigger slot at the bottom is actually where we're going to slide it through. That way you can see it's going to cinch itself up in here. But you can see that little tab is actually where that's going to be. We can go ahead and allow that guy just to kind of get back up in that housing. And we want to work from these inner tabs here. Again, those plastic tabs. We just want to go ahead and really kind of just pull those guys like so. You really want to give it an inner force like that. As you can see, that tab is going to be coming out like so. And then repeating the process on our other side. You can see that plastic tab falling like that. Let me go ahead and allow that guy just to go ahead and hang like that. So on the ends of our cover plate here, you can see we just have this little black tab. Hopefully you can kind of see that wiggle a little bit. We want to go ahead and push that guy in. That's actually going to release our door on this side and again on the other. So you can see right here, pushing in that plastic tab will open up that flange. And so will this guy right here, as you can see, those little plastic tabs doing a good job of getting out of the way. Now that's actually going to expose our filter as well. So you can see here, we actually have an old filter in here today. And we want to make us sure that we are following where our airflow is coming. So as you can see right here, our airflow, we have an arrow pointing down and the side is pointing out. So we'll go ahead and make sure, take note that we are matching up our airflow on our new filter. So now that we know our direction, we're going to go ahead and pull this guy out. This guy has a little bit of a weird angle. As you can see, just kind of getting that corner around the side is going to do a good job. So now that we've gone ahead and pulled it out, we want to take a look on the inside here. Here you can see our old filter having a little bit of debris build up in there. You can really see that pollen starting to coat itself in there all through the inside. So you can imagine too, you know, you start getting a lot more time in here. This is a newer vehicle. so. Hopefully it hasn't been too long since we switched it out. We are going to get more and more buildup. You can see the other side, how that charcoal is doing a good job of filtering it though. And we will be adding our new model. Here we are today with our replacement. So matching up our airflow. It's going to be like this. So you can see on the inside here, obviously no debris because it's been sitting in our warehouse. But also you can see no dust already on the inside. Hopefully you guys can really see that color grading there. Way more dark on this side, but still that charcoal doing a good job. I'll filter that out and there's our reverse side. So the biggest thing to keep in mind is we are matching our airflow up. Again, remember we're going from the top to the bottom. So when we go ahead and reinsert our new cabin filter. So now that we have it kind of situated, we're just going to go ahead and slide it back into position and take our cover plate and re-add it. Now this might be a little bit of the tricky part. We're going to make sure we grab our dampener cord again. Just grabbing this guy. And you can see it's going to have a lot of resistance. So I like just kind of walking it up into place. Again, finding that matching that kind of triangle, thin side pointing up, finding that bigger hole and allowing the cart, the cord to fit itself in. Now that's going to be doing a good job, making sure that glove box doesn't fall on us too hard. And then again, to replace our plastic clips, we just simply push in and lift up on either side. And as you can see, it's going to do a good job of holding itself there and we're good to go. Well, as you guys saw, that installation is very, very simple and it can go a long way just saving us a little bit of extra cash, especially at getting those, you know, those oil changes and whatnot. Especially if you guys are having a lot of trouble with allergies, I highly recommend taking a look at your cabin air filter. Well, that about does it for our look at the PTC custom fit air cabin filter on our 2021 Chrysler Voyager. I'm Bobby. Thank you for watching.